the Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Dalhousie University. Decriminalize drugs during the COVID-19 pandemic and implement safe supply programs. Drug users are already one of the most marginalized and stigmatized populations in society. Unless we decriminalize drug use, they will bear the brunt of another deadly disease. They already face stigma and discrimination. It has a profound effect on their mental health. Add a pandemic on top of it, and now the risks associated with drug use increase because people are forced into isolation but continue using. Policymakers are listening. Currently, federal exemptions allow pharmacists more flexibility in renewing, refilling and transferring prescriptions, including narcotics. The pandemic prompted British Columbia to create guidelines encouraging doctors to prescribe controlled substances like morphine and ritalin to patients with substance use disorders. But there is no comprehensive, sustainable federal plan to reduce overdose fatalities and COVID-19 infections among these communities, nor are there plans to stop criminalizing them during COVID-19. For example, how is the police handling personal drug use of controlled substances during the pandemic? What do they plan to do about possession of controlled substances charges for people who have to buy their drugs on the street in the midst of the pandemic? Even now, there are still drug enforcement teams with ongoing investigations where officers are going in and out of COVID-19 high-risk areas. Reports indicate that officers are not abiding by the same public health protocols as the rest of us enforce the Quarantine Act. If officers test positive for COVID-19, they could potentially transmit the virus to communities they're criminalizing. By decriminalizing drugs, we might lower or prevent the chances of police spreading COVID-19 to vulnerable communities. Drug service providers or drug dealers support thousands of drug users who are unable to access a safer medical supply. If doctors are currently unwilling to provide patients with a safe supply of opioids, then drug users should have the legal right to buy what they need. We should also change the way we look at people who use drugs and engage in criminal behavior. Many of them have endured profound, often lifelong trauma. They've lived in poverty for much of their lives and must now function in a society that discriminates towards people who use drugs or have been incarcerated. British Columbia is supporting doctors who are willing to prescribe addictive drugs to their patients. While some patients have benefited from this, others cannot find a prescriber. This isn't a sustainable model for the province, let alone Canada. For example, there has been a spike in overdose deaths in Vancouver and Toronto due to the pandemic. And that is why harm reduction services, safe consumption sites, overdose prevention sites and inpatient withdrawal management services must stay open. These are either being shut down or operating at extremely reduced capacity but these are essential life-saving services. This story was adapted from Matthew Bond's conversation article, Decriminalizing Drug Use as We Contain the Coronavirus is the Humane Thing to Do. Bond is the program coordinator with Canadian Association of People Who Use Drugs, Dalhousie University. He's the lead peer with peers assisting and lending support, co-founder of the Halifix Overdose Prevention Site, and national board member with the Canadian Students for Sensible Drug Policy. He's also a research coordinator and research assistant at Dalhousie University and St. Mary's University.